what is actually different about manufacturing the tire-based barrier versus the concrete barrier? Yeah, we're both, well, I like to say this, we're both aggregate solutions, right? So if you think of concrete as they aggregate material together and they make a batter and they have a, a structure and they pour and they then have a finished product, right? And we're the same. We, we aggregate materials together. The fundamental difference between, there are many differences, but one of the biggest fundamental differences is, is our materials are all, not I have to be careful that all, we're 95% plus recycled materials. So, you know, that's, that's a big, big differentiator. And then our, when you measure carbon footprint between the two of us, you know, we're 283% less carbon footprint. So that, that's pretty substantial. If you take a look also like at the, the end use or the end benefits, do you want to run your car into a, a big block of, do you want to hit a block wall? Right. And it's like, well, it doesn't need to be stone, but stone has been the, the, um, you know, the only option on the market. So by us creating a barrier product that absorbs and disperses energy, right? That's the idea. It's, it's, it's meant to be like an airbag 